I am about to make rabbit. Yes, rabbit. Our family loves rabbit, mostly because our boys love to hunt it. They went hunting last year and I am using the last of the rabbit from last season. So I thawed it out, we had it in the freezer, thawed it out, and I soaked it in buttermilk for about 24 hours and now I'm about to fry it. It is so good this way and I'm gonna serve it over greens with aioli. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna to mix together my flour, paprika, salt and pepper. I'm gonna pick up my rabbit here, shake it off a little bit and dredge it in my flour mixture. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Tabasco over the top of this. But I am going to drop this in very carefully. The temperature needs to be about at 350. If it's too high, it's gonna get really dark on the outside and it's not gonna be cooked on the inside. When you take it out, it needs to be golden brown, but it doesn't need to be too dark, just a little past golden brown, and do not eat it if it's undercooked. You can get tularemia from uh, the raw rabbit and you wanna just make sure that you are protected from that by having gloves on. You wanna keep your cutting board sanitized and you wanna make sure all the tools that you use with rabbit, that they're totally sterile. And then that you go and you, you sterilize them afterwards as well. All right, time to take them out. I'm gonna take them out and I have a cookie sheet with a cookie rack on top of it and it should drain perfectly. This is drained now and I'm going to place my pieces of rabbit perfectly cooked right onto my greens. All right, I made an aioli sauce for this rabbit and it's a jalapeno aioli. If you don't have any rabbit in your freezer, this works just as well with chicken, wild turkey, and pheasant, any kind of white meat. It's gonna be great, you're gonna love it.